Critical Mass, October 19th, 2015. Let me tell you something. It is October 19th. It's not supposed to be freaking January 19th. It was 28 degrees this morning when I went to catch the bus. Now, a 620 bus that when I pulled up, I didn't see a lot of people, but we, my dad and I realized that it was people all dressed in black. So uh, we didn't see, and I get there, and there's like 25 people online to catch the bus. 620 bus, get it at 703. I'm like, Jesus. It, and then, uh, so I have a, I have a, I, I declined a couple hours. So what I do is I found a spot on the, on a, in a Riverside Park. Well, that's really, it's not really Riverside Park Park, but it's a park. And uh, did a workout, and I had a hat on, a sweatshirt, whatever, and I couldn't feel my hand. I mean, I was freezing my ass off. I couldn't warm up. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. You're walking. You're walking. You're walking. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I have to do every time. So, I, uh, I, uh, freaking, this dog just went out to pee, and now she's, like, complaining. If she's going to poop, let's go. So, um, so I had that, and I was like, you know, it, okay. Now, let me ask you, so I watched Walking Dead today because I, you know, Sunday nights are a terrible night. I feel like I never get to sleep anyway, but I, I watched Walking Dead, and there were characters that I don't remember. I hadn't seen in a while, and I know, you know, they gave Rick the episode off, but I felt like I've watched every episode, and I don't know who the hell anybody was. I felt like I was watching people, and I was like, wait a minute, they weren't, I thought they were gone, I thought they weren't characters, and I was very confused. But Carol kicking some major ass, man. She's a badass. And uh, I was very uh, happy. Last Man on Earth was much funnier. Well, he was funnier. I find that uh, Will Forte and the female lead, whose name escapes me, are really good. But the secondary characters, and I like uh, who the one who was in uh, Step, Step uh, Brothers. She's married to Ted Danson. Is it Mary Steenberg? I like her a lot, but she's she's underutilized in this in this production. So yeah, so we watched that, and then uh, you know uh, I um, took was taking the bus, walking home Ninth Avenue to catch the bus back, and I'm at a red light, and uh, who's freaking at a stop sign? Is uh, a stoplight in an SUV? Al freaking Pacino. Al and I, I, there was some guys behind, behind me. I go, that's Al Pacino. One guy said, I just heard Chino. And they go, who? And I go, the Godfather. And uh, we're actually going to see him. He's doing a uh, new David Mamet play Saturday night. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. And I kind of want to watch a Giant game tonight. I love watching Beckham. I'm not, you know, Jets are 4-1, so it's all good. So uh, it's actually warmer now than I thought it was. But then I realized I went out without a jacket on. So maybe that's why I was freezing my ass off. And tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s. And I don't I have to go in tomorrow, but uh, my... Uh, Switch time, so I usually go morning, I'm doing an afternoon. So, uh, it's all good, man. It's all freaking good. My dog won't walk. So this dog was whining to go out, and then she won't do anything. All right. So, uh, yeah. So tomorrow's be in the 60s. It's all right. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, Al Pacino. My, and my father actually went to grade school with him, but back then he was called Sonny, so... We have that connection. I mean, I don't think he'd know my father from uh, Hole in the Wall, but I like my father tells me those stories. Veal chops for dinner. Veal chops. I, I, you know what? I haven't had veal chops in a long time. They're damn good. I like veal. Baby cow. Peace out.